How's it going guys? Welcome to another one of our no reserve bring a trailer auctions. This time I have got this cute little Italian guy, 1981 Fiat X19. I've got to say I've completely, completely fallen in love with this thing. I have had such a blast with this car these last few months. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy, enjoying this car. So I definitely will be sad to see it go. Um, I've always been a huge fan of these since I was a kid. Uh, so this is actually my first one. I've had a few 124s before and a couple Lancia Scorpions. Uh, but this is my first go around with an X19. I'm just absolutely enamored. Uh, this car, I purchased it here local uh, from a Fiat Lancia Club member. Um, he purchased the car in 2006 and shipped it in. Uh, had the car here in Arizona local ever since. Uh, enjoyed the car through different road rallies, different car shows and whatnot. Um, when I acquired the car a few months back, I did put these uh, refinished um, uh, wheels back on it. I don't remember what they called them. I think they were like CD16s, I think is the name of those. Um, huge fan of these. I think it just absolutely sets the car off really well. Uh, like I mentioned in the description, it, it, it is a color change. It was originally Rosso Arancio. Uh, the original little sticker is underneath the trunk, the trunk lid there. But um, it was done well. I mean, it, a lot of stuff was taken apart. All of this, there's no real tape lines. There's no overspray, so to speak. I mean, it, it was done well and it looks good. Uh, and I just absolutely love the boxer trim, so to speak, the Bertone trim, as they call it. Um, but some of the things that we did to the car, I'll do a little walk around and kind of show you a couple of little imperfections and whatnot. We do have, I, I think this one is pictured in the, the gallery, so take a look at that. But there is a couple little chips here that were touched up, a couple little scratches. Those are probably from the top. Uh, let's see, there was, I think there was a couple small ones back, yeah, there's a few touch-up spots here on the trunk lid, um, and then let's continue on here. One thing, a couple of things that we did, as mentioned in the description, we just did the timing belt, we did the water pump, and we did, um, let's see, what am I missing, fuel pump, fuel filter, we did the auxiliary air valve, and then we did, um, I feel like I'm missing something else. Oh, there's the uh, idle control valve. We did that as well. Um, let's see, there's a couple, there's a little chip right here. One tiny little one on the edge here. I think, you know, I think I missed one on the door. There's two little chips right back here on the door. And then I need one, there was one right here as well. And then as depicted in the listing, on each fender right where it starts to meet the windshield. There's a couple little paint bits cracking inside the seam, one on each side. Those are pictured as well. And then just a couple few small stone chips up in front here. Uh, otherwise, that's that's about it. I mean, it shows remarkably well. It's uh, a really solid, really straightforward car. Like, I, I can't say it enough. I've thoroughly enjoyed driving this thing. I've done at least maybe, I don't know, 300, 350 miles on it. It's been an absolute blast. It handles well, brakes well. Everything is functioning as designed. Um, someone had mentioned about all the electronics. All of those do function. The only thing that does get a little finicky sometimes is the little brake light itself when you put the handbrake up. It sometimes will illuminate, sometimes will not on the dashboard, but that handbrake itself does work. There's no problems with that. Otherwise, all the lights, interior, exterior, all the electronics, the uh, radio, the speakers, uh, the uh, windshield wipers, the pop-up headlights, all of that works. I'll dive into the interior and uh, kind of uh, show off some of those 